There was glass everywhere and I started to cry and I looked towards my closet and I, I really, I lost it. Most of my Birkin collection, he took pretty much all of my jewelry, all of my watch collection, all of my husband's watch collection. So we have him on video for 40 minutes, just going to town, going at it. I don't think it's someone that knows me because if it was someone that knew me, they wouldn't have never done this. They wouldn't have never done this because people that know me know the good that I do and all the charity work that I do and they know the reason I built the closet. I, I love charity work. I'm a huge philanthropist. I, if I could fundraise 24 hours a day, I would. I do it on an average of 12 to 14 hours a day. I pretty much feel with the police and everything that he was definitely a professional. He, I believe, possibly from all of the publicity that this fundraising closet had gotten in the past month, that he had done his homework, that he would studied the videos and really saw what was there and what, how it was laid out and everything. Because on the video, he truly walks straight through that closet door, straight to the very biggest Birkin travel bag, throws the paper out of it onto the floor that it was stuffed with, turns immediately to the jewelry cabinet, the first one, starts with the watches, makes his way up, fills the bag up, closes the doors nicely, goes to the next one, starts with the watches, works his way up, doesn't seem to be in a hurry, very meticulous and methodical, just like he knew. You know, they can, they can take all they want from me, materialistically, but the things that I can't replace that they stole from me, are some of the heirlooms that my mother-in-law had given me that, and now she's deceased and, and those heirlooms meant so much to me. And um, some of the things that reminded me of my son, um, I had a little silver locket that my best friend from Jackson Hole gave me um, on the day of his funeral. And um, we walked up to the casket and cut a locket of his hair off the back of his neck and she wrapped a rubber band around it and placed it in the locket and hung it around my neck and she said, you know, Michael will always be with you. And um, that's, 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 that's never going to be replaced. That's gone. It's, it's, it's gone. It's a piece of my son that I had that I could hang around my neck and wear when I missed him. And it's, it's, you know, it's, it's the stuff like that that's just never going to be replaced. You know, when someone comes in your home and just literally steals something from you that just is just, it means so much to you and it's just irreplaceable, that's, that's the stuff that you just can't get over. It just, it takes you to the core and that's just pure evil. It's just pure evil.